Welcome back to Math Wizard Tutor. Today's video is about how to graph a quadratic function. The graph of a quadratic function is a parabola. Note that if the value of a is greater than 0, our parabola is opening upward. And when our a is less than 0, our graph will be opening downward. So let's try to evaluate our function. f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3. So in this case, we are going to look first for our a. Our a is 1. Our b is equal to negative 4. It is very important to get the vertex first of our function in order to graph. And the vertex is denoted by the coordinate h, k. So let's find h first by using negative b over 2a. So we will replace our b which is negative 4. So h now is equal to negative times negative 4 over 2 times 1. So negative times negative 4 is positive 4 over 2. And now h is equal to 2. Alright, so we have our value of h already, which is equal to 2. After finding h, we will find our k. So k is the same with the function of x. So we can replace f of x or y into k that is equal to the original function so k now is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3 and now we will substitute 2 in our x so you have x squared will become 2 squared minus 4 quantity 2 plus 3 so you have 2 squared is equal to 4 minus 4 times 2 is negative 8 plus 3. And simplify, therefore your k now is equal to 4 minus 8 is negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. So your k is equal to negative 1. Therefore, our vertex is the coordinate of 2, comma, negative 1. So at this time, I'll be looking only for another points or coordinates for our graph. So we can create table of values. For example, I write down here our vertex. Our vertex is 2, negative 1. So we can find the value of y when x is 3 or when x is 4. And also we can find the values of y when x is 1, then x is equal to 0. I think it's easier for us to use the smaller numbers. We will start using 0 and 1. So we will just replace our x values here on the table for the formula uh, y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3. We will replace x with 0 so we will get 0 squared minus 4 times 0 plus 3. We will get the square of 0 that is 0 then minus 4 times 0 is 0, then plus 3. So simplify, your y now becomes positive 3. Write down 3 in your table of values. So this is now 3. Then the next one, we will change it with 1 or x. So I'll just directly move here. 1 squared minus 4 times 1 plus 3. So 1 times 1 is 1 minus 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 then we combine we combine the terms or we simplify the terms 1 minus 4 is minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 0 
So now y is equal to 0. In your table, we can use the reflection. This one is our vertex. So whatever your answers on your left could be the same answers on your right. When x is 3, our y would be same with 0. When x is 4, our y will become 3. Alright, we are now ready to plot the values in our tables for the parabola. So look at your vertex. Maybe you find your vertex first that is 2, negative 1. So 2, negative 1 is found in this grid. Okay. And the other one is 1, 0. 1, 0 is just this point. And 3, 0 is on the other side. And the other is 4, 3. 4, 3 is here. Then the other one is 1, 0. The other one is 0, 3. So if you notice now, our graph is ready to be drawn. So you have your vertex. You connect first with your first point. And you connect with your second point. That is your first half. Then you connect a turning point here, going upward to okay, then don't forget to extend your arrowheads to show that there are still possible lines going up. Alright, that's how your graph looks like for the function f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 3. So you have example number 2, y is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 5. So again, the first thing to do is to find your h and k for your vertex. So your h would be equal to negative b over 2a. So your a there is 1, your b is 6. Now your h is equal to negative b, which is 6 over 2a. That is 2 times 1. So negative 6 divided by 2 is equal to negative 3 so we just found out our h is equal to negative 3 so after finding h we will find our k our k now is equal to the function x squared plus 6x plus 5 then we substitute our x negative 3 so you have negative 3 squared plus 6 times negative 3 plus 5. So negative 3 squared is equal to 9. Positive 6 times negative 3 is, is negative 18, then plus 5. So we simplify 9 minus 18 is negative 9, plus 5 is negative 4. Therefore, our k now is equal to negative 4. And our vertex is noted by the coordinate 3, negative 4. So the same thing, we are going to make our table. So after negative 3, we will find the value of y when x is negative 2 and negative 1. So I'll just show here below, use the... We will use the same function, x squared plus 6x plus 5. So I'll just directly substitute there. y is equal to negative 2 squared plus 6 times negative 2, then plus 5. That would become negative 2 squared is positive 4. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12, then plus 5. We simplify. 4 minus 12 plus 5 is negative 3. Okay, so when our x is negative 2, our y is negative 3. Next, we will use the x is equal to negative 1. So I'll just write down here y is equal to negative 1 squared plus 6 times negative 1 plus 5. Okay, so negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. 
then negative 1 times 6 is negative 6 then plus 5 1 minus 6 plus 5 is 0 so your y is equal to 0 when x is negative 1 all right so we have now our vertex which is negative 3 4 then we have two points negative 2 negative 3 then negative 1 0 using these three points we can still make our graph so what we're going to do first is to locate your vertex or plot your vertex in your Cartesian plane. Negative 3, negative 4. So this is your x. This is your y axis. Negative 3 is here. So you go down 4. So negative 3, negative 4 will be in this part. Negative 3, negative 4. And that is your vertex. Next is negative 2 3 negative 2 3 is in this part then you have negative 1 0 negative 1 0 is here and we know that the parabola is opening upward because our a is positive and we are going to create the reflected part of our parabola since your axis of symmetry is here on negative 3 we can reflect our points to the left side of the parabola. Negative 2 and negative 3 will be reflected on the other side, which is negative 4, negative 3. Then the negative 1, 0 can be reflected on the other side. So you have 1, 2 units, then 1, 2 units. That is equal to negative 5, 0. Then after which we can connect our dots. This one is our turning point then you can draw upward then exit with arrowhead then continue on the left side going upward to five zero and that is your graph so your graph is opening upward okay so the solutions for this graph x is equal to negative five and x is equal to negative one i hope you learned something thank you for watching